So I've got some good news for you and some bad news for you. Um, the good news is cutting sections is really easy. The bad news is uh, cutting sections is really hard. It requires you to be um, quite dexterous and, to be honest, a skilled histologist makes it look like the easiest thing in the world. When you actually have a go yourself, it is remarkably difficult. So, how is it done? I don't want that one. You take up your block, place your block into the chuck, and that is now secure. What I will do then is take a handbrake off the unit, and that will enable me to now move the chuck up and down. And I will advance the blade and the block together until I start getting a few curls of tissue. Then I will just grab one of those, says he, and you start to pull off thin sections. Now, each one of these sections, remember, is only four microns in thickness, so it's thinner than a hair on your head. The slightest breeze generally causes them to blow all over the place. You pick them up, and you float them out on the water bath. Now, as you can see, there's no air bubbles, there's no creases. They are completely flat. And what I can do then is I can take a pair of forceps um, and I can just chop off the ones I don't want, grab a slide, pick it up. Quick flick just makes sure there's no water. And now I have a piece of tissue on a slide, pencil, and label up. And that then goes on a hot tray where it will uh, progressively melt. And there's one I cut earlier. And what you will notice here is that, against a dark background, you can't see the wax now. It's completely disappeared. You can see the grey crescent of the liver, but the surrounding wax has completely melted. And that's what you're looking for. When it's all melted, your section is sufficiently adherent to the slide. If you don't have it adherent to the slide, when you come to staining, it'll just float off. So the melting step is absolutely crucial. Don't avoid this bit when you are doing your lab practicals. Melt it properly, take the time, otherwise you'll lose your whole section. That is how simple it is to cut a nice block. Um, I'll just show you again. Hopefully this one here will work. It's a bit rubbish processing this one. So, in the block, I align my block with the blade. And then you get some debris and you just pull it off. So this one here is not very well processed, but or you're not actually getting anything. But it serves just to show you the technique. And you float stuff out. And that is how you cut a section.